Hey Health Nuts, welcome back to my channel. I am very excited about today's video because it has been highly, highly requested basically every day on Instagram and definitely a lot on the YouTube comments, especially after I did my healthy travel tips. I showed that I was taking supplements and you guys are always asking what vitamins are you taking? And this is something I always like to know too when I see people take vitamins because I am an avid vitamin taker. I'm always like, what are they taking? It's just that nosy, like, what are they taking that I need to be taking? So before I get into things, well, actually, before I get into that, I guess I should address that, yes, I cut my hair. I'm gonna have a whole hair vlog coming soon. It is so short and light and like fresh for spring and summer. I love it. My friend Connor cut it at uh, the salon he works at, Bob and Page. I will link down his Instagram down below. Uh, he just did an amazing job. I felt like I was being pampered at a spa. Like they gave me a head massage. It was a great experience. They gave me Easter egg chocolates. Uh, it was awesome. So if you guys are looking for a new look, definitely check out Connor's page down below, even just for inspiration. If you don't live in Toronto and you can't go to him, he's awesome. So anyways, I just thought I would, you know, let you guys know, yes, I did get a haircut. You're not going crazy. But before we get into the actual video, I just want to preface the video by saying, you know, supplements and vitamins are very unique to each individual. So just because I take these vitamins doesn't mean that you need to. I take them all for certain reasons. Like for me, my vitamin routine is tailored towards my specific needs. And I've actually gone to a lot of health professionals and doctors in order to make sure that what I'm taking is safe and it's okay. Because sometimes when you combine different things together, um, you know, you just want to make sure that you are consulting in a health practitioner, whether it's a naturopath or a you know traditional doctor, you just wanna make sure that you are getting the right advice for your body and what issues that you're having. So for me, um, with vitamins, I would like to say that I feel like everyone should be taking vitamins and I'm not saying you have to take as many vitamins as I do, but I think everyone should be taking, you know, the basics would be a multivitamin, a good B complex, some kind of oil, whether it's a fish oil or a vegetarian oil, and then vitamin C. And if you live in Canada, definitely a uh, vitamin D because we don't get a lot of sun here. So, and I know a lot of people think, you know, you can get all the vitamins from your food. And yes, this is true, but I do think nowadays our soil is just not the same as it used to be. A lot of times the nutrients and vitamins are depleted from the soil, meaning our food isn't getting the same vitamins and nutrients as it once was. That means that you aren't absorbing those nutrients from your food. So that's just my kind of thoughts on vitamins. So for me, I, I think they're really important to living a healthy lifestyle and feeling great. And for me, suffering with anxiety especially really bad the last few years it has been it has like made such a difference incorporating vitamins into my daily routine it has made a big difference in my mood my anxiety my stress levels I just in my digestion I just overall feel really good so I am a believer in the vitamins um, but it doesn't mean that you need to take them to be healthy that's just what I take to feel good. But you can obviously be healthy by eating right, exercising, drinking lots of water, sleeping well, and all those things. So don't feel like you have to go spend all this money on vitamins uh, like tomorrow. Without further ado, let's hop right into the video. Now I'm gonna warn you guys, I do take a lot of vitamins and I have a lot here with me. So I'll show you my basket. It's kind of embarrassing. I don't know why I'm sometimes embarrassed by my vitamin basket, but they're not all vitamins I take all the time. This is kind of like my medicine cabinet. And sometimes there's old vitamins I don't take anymore and I don't really want to throw out. So yeah, this is my basket. So I just keep them all in one handy spot. I got this basket. I think this is actually my mom's. I think it's from like Ikea or something. I just think it's a really easy way to store my vitamins up in the cabinet so they don't look like I'm like a drug addict. They're hidden away in a basket so no one knows until I'm like bringing all the bottles out taking my 20 vitamins a day. But I've actually narrowed it down. I think I only take about eight vitamins a day. I don't know, that's probably still a lot. I'll get into why I take that many vitamins and I'll get into each one. I'm probably not gonna go through all of them, but I'm gonna go through the ones that I actually take every single day. And maybe I'll go through some that I take once in a while and then we can go into 
those details. Okay, so I guess what makes sense is to start with a daily multivitamin. And I've actually gone through a few different brands, but this is the one I'm taking now. This is by Thorne, and I really like Thorne. I've taken them before for their iron. And this is just a multivitamin. With vitamins, you always wanna make sure to turn it around, read the label, see what's in it, compare it with other brands see you know what the amounts are the milligrams for each type of vitamins that are in it and then also to how many capsules you need to take in order to have the right dosage that it's actually recommending but just because it says three a day doesn't mean you have to take three a day okay so this one here says two capsules three times daily i actually only take one of these after lunch so you know like i said i think in the beginning you might want to start with that if that's what your doctor says but for just maintenance you can just you know, do what, you're, what you feel is right for your body. So I just take one a day, because I feel like I do eat pretty healthy, I get lots of vitamins in my food. That's just like to, to top things off and just as my backup, my plan B for getting all the vitamins. <laughs> So my next holy grail vitamin is a B complex. Now I've switched to, from different brands. Right now I'm using this AOR1 A -O -R and it stands for Innovative Research. I don't actually know. What does AOR stand for? Okay, I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was an abbreviation for something. So I take this advanced B complex and B vitamins are so good for if you're dealing with stress or anxiety, um, they're just crucial. And anytime you're dealing with high stress, your body is actually using up more vitamin B, which is why it's important if you are a stressful, if you, you know, if you have a stressful life or you just feel stressed a lot to take vi B vitamins because you want to restore those you know, those fuels in your body. So that way you are not low in B vitamins. So B vitamin would be my next like go-to supplement. I think I just ran out of my vitamin C. I usually just get, you know, I try not to spend too much on vitamin C. Natural factors is a good one. I usually buy, and I'll link all the supplements and the brands down below. I usually also try to buy my supplements from a health food store. Don't go to a drug store. Don't go to a grocery store. Go to a health food store where they actually have some health practitioners that can give you advice on your supplement routine. So I like to go, if you're you know, in the surrounding Toronto area, Nature's Emporium is amazing. Whole Foods would be another great option. And then there's like small health food stores all over Toronto that you can check out. But if you go to some of the bigger ones, they usually have a lot of health practitioners and experts that can actually give you um, medical advice on what to take for whatever symptoms you're having. Now with my vitamin C, I actually usually take it in the morning and then I usually will take it with my iron, liquid iron supplement, which I don't have with me, but it's the same brand as this little test one here. It's a Germany brand, it's by Salus. I'll link it down below. I really like it because it's a liquid form. It's easy to take in the morning. It's not heavy on my stomach. It doesn't make me constipated or anything. Like I know iron sometimes can make people feel a little bit more backed up or I don't know. I've never actually had that with some of the ones I've taken, but this liquid one by Celis is like really, really good. It has sort of a berry flavor to it, but I usually just take that in the morning with my vitamin C um, because the vitamin C helps your body absorb the iron. So the reason why I take iron is because in the past when I've been tested for iron levels, I was really low, like almost like anemic low. And I guess I wasn't anemic. And I find actually a lot of women are low in iron because, you know, we get our period every month, we're losing blood, and without getting too TMI, you know, we need to, we're losing, we're losing iron in our blood every month, so we really need to make sure we're replenishing that with maybe an iron supplement. Or if you feel really tired and lethargic or pale all the time, that can sometimes be an iron deficiency as well. But like I said, I feel like I'm gonna say this 10 times throughout the video, Go to a natural practitioner, go see a doctor, get a blood test done if that's something that you feel that you need. If not, then just keep doing all the other things you're doing and you will survive, I promise. Now another supplement that I think is really important and something that I take every day is some kind of omega-3 supplement. A lot of our foods contain a lot of omega-6s and it's really important to kind of balance it out. Really what I've been taking recently is a vegetarian one or like a plant-based one. You can take a fish one too. I just, I eat a lot of fish so I just don't take it as an extra supplement but like I've done that in the past and it was great. Um, lately I've just been taking this hemp oil. This is the Manitoba Harvest one. You guys know I love their products and this is just their hemp oil that I actually just squeeze into my smoothies most of the time and if I'm not making a smoothie they actually have these awesome little uh, oil capsules and these are just unrefined cold-pressed hemp seed oil 
And hemp seed is just really, really good for you. You can even make salad dressings with this. You could, I know my friend Katie in the past, she said like she would wash her, like do an oil cleanse with her with this uh, oil on her face and she felt like it really helps with her acne and redness because it's very very green uh, but yeah I just squeeze it usually into my smoothie and that's how I get my oils I just think having healthy fats is so crucial I'm all about the fats I'm like no sugar give me the fats so hemp oil I love and like I said if you need something that's more convenient on the go the capsules are really really good too so I have those and usually you keep these in the fridge Next up, I wanna talk about a couple of supplements that I take to actually help with my anxiety. So I right now I'm not taking any, you know, over-the-counter anxiety medication. Um, but if that's something you're doing, then you know there's nothing wrong with that. There are times that I kind of wanna go back to that when my anxiety is really bad. But these aren't things to cure your anxiety. They could for some people, but they can just help with managing it and just lowering it down a bit to, like I said, a more manageable level. Because most of the time, I don't wanna say most of the time, but a lot of times anxiety can be a deficiency in something or it could just be your body is built differently and you handle stress differently and it comes out in anxiety. So these are things that help calm me down and bring me down to a more normal level. First thing that I, I swear by is this, it's actually a magnesium supplement and it's by MegMind. And I don't think you can actually get it here in Canada. It's by a company called Jaro Formulas. And I bought mine online, I think from Vitacost. I'll link it down below. I think I actually have like a $10 off coupon for your first purchase at um, Vita, Vita Cost, so I'll link it down below. This one is really good. This is magnesium, more for the mind. So a lot of magnesium magnesium is for calming the body, like Epsom salts if you take like a bath or something. But this one is actually for the mind, and I really think it helps calm that like monkey mind, as they call it. Uh, so I take one of these. Sometimes I take two if it's if I'm really needing it. I usually just take one every day. I think it says take two. Oh, it takes. Three, take three capsules per day. I think when I started taking this, I was taking more, and now one after lunch is fine. And then I will take that in conjunction with the same company, this 5-HTP. This is also another holy grail product. If you suffer with anxiety, you need to try both of these products. This helps with serotonin levels. Yeah, I feel like I'm not good at explaining these. This one just says take one capsule per day on an empty stomach. Okay, I take it after lunch, but I mean, that I just take one a day. I take the 50 milligram one. There also is a 100 milligram one. So I usually would recommend always starting with the lower dosage because you don't know how your body is gonna react. But I, I take that. Now, if you do wanna take a magnesium for your body or just something to help you sleep at night, just this one is a really good brand, Pure Encapsulations. This is the glycinate uh, magnesium. Glycinate is a really good one. It, it's a really easy, absorbable, um, uh, form of magnesium because not all vi vitamins are created equal uh, a lot of vitamins are sourced from like really crappy ingredients and your body can't even absorb it so if you're gonna spend money on vitamins make sure it's a good quality one because you don't want to just be spending money on expensive urine as they say because it's just gonna go in and out and it's not gonna do anything for your body and I don't actually take this one all the time Matt actually reaches for this more than I do lately uh, but I've been sleeping really good so Yes, <laughs> I don't need to take this at night, but if this is also actually really good for digestion, if you take this at night, let me tell you, you will be regular every single morning. But now I find I'm regular without taking this, so another little TMI. All right, and if that wasn't enough, I also take some other, they're not vitamins, they're more like supplements that I wanted to just mention because I feature them a lot in my videos and a lot of you guys ask me about them. So one of my go-to things that I try to basically eat every single day is spirulina. This is a Hawaiian spirulina. It smells better, it's higher quality. I don't know, I won't try any other spirulinas now. But I always get the Hawaiian spirulina. I find it's better quality, it tastes better, it doesn't have a weird fishy smell like some other spirulina powders. And this is just full of vitamin A, full of protein. It's a blue-green algae, it's so good for you. I feel like it's one of those superfoods that everyone should be eating. It's super easy to incorporate into your diet. You can throw it in to a smoothie, you can mix it with some water and chug it. I throw it into a smoothie and I find that's a really easy way to take it. But yeah, I'll link, this is by the company Gan Gandalf. I will link down some Hawaiian brands down below uh, if you can't find this exact same one because I don't know if this one is available online, um, but I will check for you guys. 
My next supplement that I like to take is some type of plant-based protein powder. I don't like whey so much because I feel like A, I try to limit my dairy intake because I find I just feel like bloated and my skin will sometimes break out from it. I like to limit it and save it for the cheese and the good stuff. So for protein powder, I usually always do, actually I always do a plant-based one, but it changes. Sometimes I'll do pea protein, brown rice protein. This one here is by Manitoba Harvest. It's made out of hemp seeds. And this is their Hemp Pro 70 in the original. So there's no flavor to this one, which I don't mind because literally the only ingredients are hemp protein concentrate and natural plant extracts. So it's very natural and it has like a very natural color to it. I don't know if you can see, it's like, I don't even know, it looks like clay almost. <laughs> um, so I've just been reaching for this one lately, but I will alternate between Vega's really good, Sun Warrior. I'll link some of my favorites down below. I think you don't have to have this all the time, but I do think if you don't eat a lot of meat, um, then it's really good to take a, a, some kind of protein powder or just you know, a lot of them do have a bunch of nutrients that you might not be getting in your diet. If you're kind of that person that eats the same thing, this is just really good to take for either a mid afternoon protein shake before a workout or after a workout or just in your like morning green smoothie. So this next product, which I think is my last, is a new one that I've been taking. And by new, I mean, I've been taking it for the past like three months, but it's newer compared to everything else. And it's by Vital Proteins. It, it is their uh, grass-fed collagen peptides. This is the unflavored one. I love this stuff. I don't know, I can't say enough good things about it. I feel like it's helped my hair, skin, nails, it's helped my sleeping patterns. I, I think I randomly heard this from someone that collagen helps with um, with sleep. And I do feel like I've been sleeping really, really good uh, since taking this. So overall, I just feel like this has done wonders. Like, I don't know, even my skin is clearer, even though I'm eating so much cheese lately. Um, I just feel like this is an awesome product. It's sometimes collagen is a bit pricey to be honest, but it goes a long way. Like you only need a little bit in, in your smoothie or I usually mix this in either in a smoothie or when I make my herbal bulletproof coffee, I will put some of this in there. You can do it in oatmeal. Uh, and it, there's no taste. There's no taste. It just kind of thickens some stuff up. It doesn't thicken so much that you feel like you just put, you know, like some kind of thickener in your food. It just blends right into anything and I love it. It makes me feel really good. It's also good for digestion and protein and everything. It's, it's you know, it's a superpower food. Okay, sorry, I lied. I have one more product. Um, this one here is another kind of supplement that I will take when I'm usually not feeling well or I'll take it during cold and flu season so I don't get sick. And this is by Beekeepers Naturals. This is Propolis Spray. It says for throat relief, but it is like the most amazing immune boosting product in the market in my opinion. It is crazy good. If you look up reviews, like everyone says it's magic in a bottle. It's one of my secrets to not getting sick. And anytime I have family members that aren't feeling well, I'm always like Ch -ch 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 to all of them so they don't, so their like colds can like speed up, I guess. Uh, for me, when I am sick, I find going to natural products is the best thing you can do. Spending money on cold effects and all those expensive syrups and stuff is just damaging for your health. It's not good for you. You're spending all this money on products that are just putting a band-aid or numbing the symptoms. But for me, I like to go back to the roots and taking raw honey or the throat spray, drinking water, making ginger and turmeric tea and sleeping. I mean, if you're sick, you probably need some rest. So for me, I really try not to, um, when possible, I really try to stay away from antibiotics and like over-the-counter medications that aren't really good for my body. So t like, trust me guys, this Beekeepers Natural Spray is magic. You need to have it in your medicine cabinet. Anytime you or your family get sick, just pull this out and I promise you, you'll feel better in like a couple days. So it's, it's a miracle product, so I love it. So I usually keep my vitamins in one of these little pill boxes. I feel like a grandma when I go out and, I, and I'm taking my little pill box and taking my vitamins, um, but it's just a really great way to make sure that when, even if you're on the go or you're visiting somewhere, or you're traveling, that you always have your vitamins with you. And to be honest, like I kind of want a two week one um, because it's just, just really handy to have and I like that I can just, you know, have all my vitamins. So to be honest, like usually the, I take one, two, three, four, five, six. I usually take about six, ooh, shoot. 
uh, vitamins a day. So that is everything for my vitamin slash supplement routine video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I know you guys highly, highly requested this video and I think I was hesitant to show it because I do feel like I take a lot of vitamins, but it's what makes me feel good. I mean, I would rather spend money on vitamins than medication later down the road. So for me, it's like a healthy addiction. <laughs> so hopefully this helped you. Hopefully it gave you some ideas on what you could take. But like I said, go see a doctor or a natural practitioner. If you are curious to check your, you know, your levels, maybe do a blood test and then you can see what you should be taking. But I mean, if you really, really want to get started on vitamins, you know, just taking a really good multivitamin is probably probably the best way to start. Um, but by no means do you have to take vitamins or supplements at all to feel good. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I post three times a week now, Sunday recipes, Wellness Wednesdays, and Vlog Fridays. So if you guys want to see more videos from me, be sure to subscribe so you won't miss them. And thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.